this is Crimson the Socialite Media and I'm here today with a new tutorial on how to make a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. You're going to have the option to either make one that looks more aesthetically pleasing with a polymer candle inside or one with a candle that might actually work. So let's get to it. First you're going to need polymer clay of course and then you're going to need something to roll your polymer clay with actually use a fondant roller exacto blade and a sculpting tool then you're going to need paint brushes wax paper or parchment paper tin foil scissors a straw various paints i'm using two different colors of orange a brown and a green if you want this candle to actually work you're going to need the candle wick material i didn't have any so I actually used sewing string, then you're going to need your candle so you can have candle wax of course. Starting off with the polymer clay, I'm going to knead it in my hand so I'm going to roll it out. And then I'm going to take my tin foil square and compress it into a ball. Try and get it pretty smooth all the way around. Then I'm going to take another piece of tin foil um, and wrap it around that. Cut off the edges and smooth down the sides so it makes it all smoother all around. The reason for putting this other layer of tin foil is so that after you bake the clay, um, when you go to take it out of the tin foil, it makes it easier to remove. It doesn't tear your foil ball and you can reuse it. And now I didn't have so much success with removing my polymer clay from my little mat, so I had to go back and patch things up because there were holes in my clay. But just cut off excess and mold it around the foil ball. Make sure everything's nice and smooth. You can roll it around in your hands to get it to that perfect ball shape. And then I had to go around with some smaller pieces of clay and add it into fill in the little dents that I had. You are going to want to press your polymer clay ball into the flat surface to give it a flat bottom. And then round out the top again to make sure it's not flat on the top too. And taking that uh, polymer clay tool, you're going to put a little dent into the center of the bottom and into the center of the top and you're going to draw a line from the bottom to the top. Um, I did it first in four sections and then four more sections so I had a total of these eight little slices. And then to give it that pumpkin shape, I take that tool again and I press it into the line and kind of press it to the side a little bit so that it um, gives it, it makes it look like it has a raised edge like a pumpkin does and that the pieces are coming into that seam if you can understand what I'm trying to mean. I really hope you do because I don't. And then I'm going to roll out a little piece of clay and then as you can see I'm kind of twirling and twisting it into a little stem shape and sticking that with the pumpkin and blending it out. And then I'm actually cutting all the way through the polymer clay and cutting out the top. You're actually you're gonna leave it all together, but you're just gonna cut in the lines and make sure you cut all the way through.
I'm going to pick two lines that are parallel to each other on opposite sides of the pumpkin. And then I'm going to cut all the way through those like I did the top. And then it is ready to bake. I bake my polymer clay stuff on foil, which is mostly because I don't have parchment paper. <laughs> my clay needs to be baked at 230 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes, so I'm doing that. In the meantime, I'm going to make my candles. It did take a few tries before I got it right, but if you don't do what I do, it'll be really easy. So I'm pouring out some of my candle wax, and you're going to make a little puddle put your string through your candle because I had <laughs> okay I successfully made a candle and it was amazing and it was perfect but I had forgot to put the string in it so please don't forget to put the string in it or your candle wick if you're that's what you're doing and you're gonna do that you're just gonna let it sit out the bottom or if you have a candle wick, candle wick cut it to length so it sticks out a little bit and then you're going to put a tiny piece or a tiny drop of wax onto that puddle of the hot wax and so it can set into it and then you're going to carefully pour a few drops of wax into the straw piece. I've just eyed mine to how tall it needs to be in comparison to the pumpkin it's a little bit under an inch, so. And the reason I'm marking it with pencil is because that's where I thought I was going to put the face on it, but I didn't later. And then I'm taking my pumpkin now, and I'm going to cut through my, um, seams that I had cut through all the way when it was before it was baked and then I did that with the top as well Then you're going to take your X-Acto knife again, and you're going to carefully, please very carefully, do not cut your fingers. It can be pretty easy to do things like that when you're doing very tiny work like this. I cut out two triangle shapes for the eyes, and just like a zigzaggedy mouth. And then on the inside, I actually carved away a little bit um, around the holes so that it would show clear through without actually having to cut more away on the outside.
making it that into the seams of my pumpkin and then blending it into a different color orange. I actually used a little too much green. Um, it doesn't look bad, I don't think, but I would like it a brighter orange to match the other pumpkin I made. So. Just one of the color oranges and then I just put green over it and mix it into the wet orange. So the stem green, blend that out onto the top of the pumpkin, drag it down some of the seams, things like that. And then you're going to put brown coming from the end towards the stem and blend it into the green. Because if you look at a pumpkin, the stem is greener towards the pumpkin where it's not as dead in decaying, I guess. I painted mine a bit of an off-white, then I took some brown, a very tiny amount of brown, and I blended that under the candle dripping um, to make it stand out more, to make it look shaded. Then for the flame, I took some orange and painted that on there, as well as a yellow, and a bit of metallic gold paint. pieces together with super glue. Um, hot glue really doesn't work for this, so super glue is really going to be the best thing for this. I use Gorilla Glue. For your wax candle, you can either melt the end of your candle a little bit and stick it into the pumpkin or you can drip a tiny bit of wax into the pumpkin and stick the candle into that. That's probably going to be the easier thing and make it more stable. It really helps if you have pliers or some pliers. It really helps if you have long tweezers or something that can help you stick it into the pumpkin. No, I glue that into the pumpkin with super glue i also use the tweezers to help put it in there i'm covering the pumpkin with a matte mod podge i really like the matte mod podge for the pumpkin especially because it isn't a true matte it still has a certain gloss to it that has a really nice effect and makes it look more like a vegetable or a squash i guess because pumpkins aren't vegetables and also do that to the top of the pumpkin and you are done this is your beautiful pumpkin i hope you like it because i like it a lot i want to make a thousand of these and just put them everywhere because i love them so much 
They are so cute and they're pretty easy to make. They're really fun. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope that it helped you. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. This has been Crimson of Socialite Media and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye. Also, let me know if you'd be interested in purchasing one of these pumpkins because I am debating whether or not I want to post these to for sale on my Etsy, which is etsy.com slash something something, I don't know, there's gonna be a link in the description, I'm tired. <laughs> That's like every video ever, yada yada yada, I don't know what I'm saying, I'm tired. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, if I can speak. 